हेलो वेलकम टू लेसन ट्वेल्व क्लासेस इन सी शॉप ब्रॉड टू यू बाय एंग्रो टेक्नोलॉजीज माय नेम इज हरीश इन दिस सेशन विल लर्न व्हाट इज क्लास एंड व्हाट इज ऑब्जेक्ट राइट नाउ विल जंप इनटू क्लास what is class class is a group of related methods and variables to understand the clear definition of this class i am having few sentences here class contains code and data this is actually a typical definition of class it contains the code and data then what is data data is contained in the data members which will be defined by the class itself which will be defined by the class and what is code code is defined in the function members okay now what are these data members and function members data members can also be called as fields in your class you have to define a data member and these data members can also be called as fields and these fields these data members can be instance variable and static variable keep in mind data members can also be called as fields and these data members include instance variable and static variable therefore here you can find the definition class is a group of related variables now we'll go for method what this function members include function members includes methods properties just for a simple definition i have taken the method you can observe here right class is a group of related methods and variables to understand that so i have taken any one of any one from the data member and the function members we can tell tell the definition like this class is a group of related is a group of related methods and variables indirectly you are telling class is a combination of code and data that's all that is the def definition of class and class is like a blueprint we'll just see what is the definition what is the meaning of this sentence class is like a blueprint classes are declared using the class keyword suppose if you want to declare a class if you want to write a class then how can you declare a class you can declare a class by using the class keyword class keyword you can use the class keyword to declare a class and we'll go through these sentences once we declare the class and later when we want to declare a object create a object then we'll come to this last three sentences last three points now we'll this now we'll try to declare a class using the class keyword now i'm having a general form of class see here if you want to declare a class then i want to use class keyword followed by the class name and as i said class is a group of related methods and variables you can see declaration of instance vari um, variables you can declare there are two types one is instance variables and static variables we'll just discuss in the coming session what is instance variable and static variable right now keep in mind here the class this class contains group of related instance variables and instance variables and the method and the method class is a group of instance variables and method in this general form of class definition this is the actual definition of a class and you can see access type var1 access type var2 notice that each variable and method notice that each variable this is instance variable and method is preceded with the access your access is an access specifier your access in both instance variable and method access is an access specifier such as public it means it tells us which specify how the members can be accessed and this will be discussed in the coming sessions um this public uh, this access come under the access modifier specifiers which is a separate topic again we'll see them in the coming sessions just keep in mind class is a group of related variables and methods that's it okay now to understand uh, now it's time to define a class so i'll fire up visual studio then i'll define a class how to define a class if you want to define a class then we have class building then we have class building class just tab it twice i'll erase it and i'll show you again if you want to define a class if you want to declare a class just use class keyword and tab it twice it provides you the code snippet for the class and you can rename the class now i i want to i'm in this example i'm taking the example of building now the name of my class is building okay once i'm having the class building you can see in the definition class is a group of related methods and variables so my next job is i want instance variables and method in this session i am taking 
two things in the class one is instance variable and the method um, we have still things to learn in the class which will be covering in the coming session as of now this example is limited only to instance variable and method okay class is a group of related instance variable and methods so my first job is I want to declare uh, I want to declare uh, instance variables here I would like to take three instance variables one is since is, since it is a building class building contains floors areas and the occupants so I would like to take three instance variables how do I do that I'll use the access model specifier is public and int since it is number of flows it will be a numeric value so I have to take the integer type as return type as integer similarly I'll copy this then what is the another variable I have to take floors then I have to calculate the area of the building then occupants will just calculate how many occupants occupants okay these are the three instance variable which I have created in my project once I'm having this class okay once I'm having this class now you can observe how did we create an instance variable that is access public int flows just come here you can see general form right public is access type is integer var name is floor means this is the general form how do you declare an instance variable now we'll move back into the presentation now it's time to create object okay a class defines a type of object but it is not an object itself what is an object then then object is an instance of class okay how do you create a object objects can be created by using the new keyword followed by the name of the class to understand it very clearly we'll jump into presentation now it means that what is an object object is a blueprint of a class okay it means that okay class is like a blueprint to understand it clearly now my class is building okay building can be a building can be a house or building can be a office okay now if it is a building is if the building is an house or an office these properties this instance variables remain same for every everything that is for a house also you will be having floors and for office also will be having floors similarly area and occupants the thing is the building is common for both the office and the house now if I want to pass values to both then I want to create an object of this object of this class how to how to create object of this class I'm I'm having a class building now I want to create an object of this class in order to how do we create an object of a class it's very simple now to create an object of a class we'll take the class name building then I will take now I want to create an object of a house okay means building is common but in buildings can be many ways that is one can be office one can be house now I want an house object to be built so I'll use new building done now once I have created the object of this class building now my object name is house once I'm having house I can access all the properties all the variables of this all the instance variables of this class building I'm having three properties here three fields here one is floor area and occupants how can I access in the calling method uh, in the main method it's very simple just take that house object then just press dot you can see all the properties that is all the fields area floors and occupants in the drop down list now I want now I want <coughs> first I want to take the occupants here the number of occupants is equal to 4 now having house next I want the area to be calculated so area is equal to uh, 2500 and again I'm taking house and last one left out is uh, floors and number of floors can be I'll give it as 2 now once I'm having this my next objective is I want to calculate the area per person how do I calculate it's very simple just initialize 
one variable called area per person area p payments person area per person now i want to calculate the area how do i calculate area per area by person area by, area per person is equal to the total area by the number of occupants this is how we calculate the area of a house right total area total area by total occupants this is what this is how we calculate the area now once i'm having all these things once i have created once i have created a class now for this class building i have created a object called house using the house i can access all the instance variables or the fields what we have created here i can access this and once i have done this my object is next to print it on the console now how do i print i'll just use console dot write line then okay now first i have to print the number of occupants how do i do that okay i'm having house number of occupants is equal to 4 number of number of floors equal to house dot floors this is how uh, this is how, how i printed the number of floors similarly for number of floors and uh, occupants 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 floors once i'm having the floors then i want to print uh, the area once area area then i'm having the area finally i have to print that area per person similarly i'll take this i'll just delete this and i'll copy area per person now um my project is ready what i did was i just built a class and i'm having instance variables to it like floor area and occupants and in the main method i'm calling that class by using a i'm creating object of it the object name is house and using that object i'm accessing all the properties all the fields in the building class and i'm assigning a value to them and later i'm calculating the area per person by total area is equal to house area by number of occupants and i'm printing it on the console now once i run this program it should provide me output by giving the total number of occupants area of floors and also the area per person this is how it happens my file is being scanned please wait for that as you can see you can just observe here the area per person is 625 okay number of area is as expected this is how we create a class and we create a object of it now the now my next question is how objects are created in the program the following line was used to create an object of type yes we were having a class and my now my objective was to create an object create an object of building class how did i create i just took the class name building and house new building see when we when object is going to be built it undergoes three operations when we are going to create a object inside it up inside it runs three operations three functions mainly first it declares first will declare a variable called house of the class now building house when you declare building house house is still a variable of the class type building this variable itself is not an object house itself until and unless we j first we'll write, write just building house okay now first it declares a variable called house of the class type building this variable this house itself is not an object instead it's simply a variable that can refer to an object house is something like a variable that can refer to an object second is 
the declaration creates actual physical copy of object this is by, done by using the new key operator new operator it means that once you have typed building and house then equal to if you type new building now the object is created you can see the actual copy of an object that is done by using the new keyword when we use the new keyword a memory allocation happens and the object is referred to house finally the third step is it atti it assigns to house a reference to that object once you declare building house is equal to new building what happens is finally the new keyword it assigns to house a reference to that object actually the object will be in the other place and that object will be referred to house thus after the line executes house refers to an object of type building therefore house will be referring to the object of type building since and therefore house is also a object now this is how the objects are created Thank you. Have a great day. Please subscribe to Anchor Training below.